Good morning, I something Bates here with a juice review this morning from Ready Le Ready Juices. This is pomelberry, which is a mixture of pomegranate and some other berries. I taste raspberry in here and maybe wishful thinking I taste a little blueberry. It's real sweet berries, so it kind of takes the sting off the pomegranate being a little bit tart. Um, this is in 4 milligrams. This is a 30-70 mix. And I'm using it on my dripper, my Omega, on my Nimi. Great crowd, crowd, cloud production on that 30-70 mix. Um, get both my holes open. Um, really like the flavor. Like I said, the sweetness of the berries kind of takes away from the tartness of the pomegranate. With pomegranate, if you eat it, you know it can be kind of tart, kind of citrusy type tartness. Um, these berries really smooth it out. It's a good, you still get your throat hit from the nicotine, but it's really a good sweet vape if you're into fruit vapes. Of course, as I always say, taste is subjective. And uh, what I like, you may not. Uh, I am not a big pomegranate fan, so I was thinking, okay, this one's going to be a little bit more than I can handle. But the berries really help it a whole lot. I'll give him that. Uh, childproof cap, kind of. It's been open for a while. As you can tell, I have been vaping me some serious ready juice to save my other juice for my trip this week and next week. Um, videos are going to be far and few between for the next three weeks. Um, we've had to take a hiatus on our vape TV show. At the same time, because I'll be traveling for work, go to Pell City, Alabama this week. And I'm in Houston for the next two weeks after that. Uh, possibly a little bit more if they add in. For some reason, they put one that's in Houston on November. And I told them, look, you're already flying me into Houston in October. Add it on there. I've got a couple of open days. Add it on there, and I'll knock it out while I'm there, and I'll have to go back in November because, you know, I like to travel, but, you know, two weeks in one place is a little riled. Of course, I'm going to the LaPorte area and other areas of Houston. So, it's not all Houston. It's Houston outlying areas that are close by. Obviously, they didn't realize Dickerson, Texas is south of Houston. So, that's what's going on. There's going to be far and few between because even though I'll have my laptop I don't know if I'll have time to cut anything and uh, definitely won't be getting my vape mail till I get back um, we'll get paid while I'm in Alabama and I've got to order some more juice because I'm killing what I ordered last payday I've really got to order some more but um uh, I am packing things that are needed. I'm taking my Japanese cotton for my drippers and a whole bunch of tools for my other stuff and my tanks and all that. And, um, you know, that's pretty much how it goes. But this is Ready Vapors. Uh, information's in the crock pot below. Website, email, Facebook. If for some reason you want a different nicotine strength, like I said, they don't have four on their site. They only have six. You can email them if you want the 3070 blend. You need to email them when you place your order. So there, there may be a comment section when you place it. I can't remember. It's been two weeks since I ordered. So, um, but I really like the cloud production of the 3070 blend. I have become a high VG junkie here. 
you know, I used to do 50-50, that was my blend, now I don't like 50-50 anymore, it just does not cut it to me. The VG, the higher VG does not irritate my throat at all, so apparently I've got a slight PG. Oh, what's the word? Uh, not allergy. Um, okay, my mind went blank. Uh, but apparently PG irritates me a little bit, and my body does not like it. So the higher VGs do better. I've been using some juices, Max VG. You know, you're always going to have a little bit of PG in just about everything. They're now making VG with flavor, but most companies use PG-based flavoring, so there's always going to be a little bit of PG. Like I said, this does not harsh my throat up as bad, so it's got to be that apparently I have a little bit of a uh, low tolerance for PG and um, all that good stuff, so. Uh, got another price, nice little pretty mod that I got from Angel Six. It's a V3 flip. I believe it's a clone. It looks like the real one, but I believe it's a clone. It's in purple. Oh. Got my uh, Magnum sitting on top. Got it on there. Can't get it off. <laughs> I had no hand strength. My tugboat does work on there, and I think it would look better on there, but I stuck this one on first, and guess what? can't get it off. But anyway, um, I like the locking ring feature of this particular mod. You know, I've looked at this mod, watched this mod for a while. At Magnum, Magnum, Magma, Magma really hits. I've done a review on it check my videos um have not done a review or a breakdown on the v3 many people have so there's no sense in repeating it you know some of the better reviewers have already done it hey because i don't do up and closey well when i pull my up and closey you see how jumped up my desk is <laughs> and the fact that i've got all my knowledge cool soaking in alcohol Um, I got through some Nautilus coils. I did find out something about Nautilus coils that I will pass on to those of you that use the Nautilus new bottom coils that are in the mini are now coming available for the bigger one, the regular size Nautilus. Uh, watch your juice levels. If you get them, run them down dry like I will sit here and vape and not pay attention to my juice level. When you get your juice level too low, you're burning, burning those coils out and having to replace them off. Then they last longer. If you watch your juice level, when it gets about to where mine is now, see where mine is now? When it gets about there, flip it over, add a little juice. Always kind of keep it above those holes in the bottom and your coils will last longer. Um, if I watch my juice level, my coils will last a month. Um, I didn't watch the juice level on this one yesterday and started getting a burnt taste after I run it down too low. So I went in there and changed the cool out. So I'm going to watch my juice level on this one. Now I like this one because it's doing better. For some reason, my biggie one wants to be a pain. I don't know what it is with me and bigger things. My 722 wants to act resist. My larger Nautilus doesn't want to vape right. But my mini chokes some clouds for a mini mindless. I mean, I really, really like it. And, of course, my Z-Max is starting to choke because it's my main regulated use all the time mod. I guess I'm going to have to go back to my MVP until I find something else to replace. Um, but check out Ready Juice. They're on the internet, the website below, and the crock pot. I've got blueberry cream, strawberry cream. Those are my faves the blueberry more than the strawberry but if you like fruit and you want to try something that's got I know it's got raspberries in it and pomegranate and some other berries 
the pommel berry is available on the website and it is to my taste buds very good excuse me um Unless you have problems with BG, I would highly recommend you asking for the 3070 70 mix they have. If you like 50-50, it is available. That's their regular mix. But Tim will fix you up if you want to hire a VG. That's Pommel Berry from Ready Vapes. I sunk vapes out of here. Y'all come back and see me now you're here.